activity, we're going to be looking at the parts of a tree and how it functions. And this is a third and fourth grade science standard. It's learning about how the parts of the tree work or function. Um, so we're going to take a look at one of the books I brought with me. And maybe you've seen this book before. It's called Our Trees Alive. Have you seen this one? So it talks about how people and trees are alike. So we're gonna look at just a few pages from that before we jump into the activity part, all right? So this says, long roots wiggle through the soil. They gather water and minerals that trees need to grow. Roots anchor a tree like your feet help you stand. So let's say you're a tree. Remember that last activity that we did? You were a tree. Point to where your roots would be. And raise your hand if you can say where and what they do. What do your roots do for you? They're in the ground. Madeline, thanks for raising your hand. They take up the water and the nutrients from the soil. Excellent. Let's take a look at another one. Sturdy trunks stand short or tall. A trunk supports the body of a tree like your legs support your body. So if you were a tree, not a person, if you were a tree, point to where your trunk would be. If you were a tree, where would your trunk be? It would be your legs, wouldn't it? So what would your legs or your trunk do for the tree? Let's look at one. No, this one. Let's listen oh, again. It yeah. says, a trunk supports the body of a tree like your legs support your body. So it supports your tree. It supports your whole body or your whole trunk. All right. Branches hold animals, the nests of birds, swings, and tree houses. They sway gently in the wind like a mother's arms rocking a baby. If you were a tree, where would your branches be? Yeah, arms. your arms, right? This is the last one we'll read. Bark is dark or light, rough or smooth, thick or thin, just like people's skin. Bark protects the inside of a tree from harsh weather and insects like your skin protects you. So if you were a tree, where's your bark? All over. All over, everywhere you have skin. So this whole book goes on to tell about how humans and trees are alike. So are trees alive? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they are. And we're gonna find out how they're alive by playing another game. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a large tree trunk. Have you ever seen a tree cookie? Yes. No. Have you I ever have, seen a big I cut them section up. of a tree? Well, yeah. I, 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 have to burn it. I have to burn it in my house, so I see like 50 of them. You day. see a bunch. Okay, so we're going to be making the middle part of a tree. We're going to make a giant tree, almost like a giant redwood or a giant sequoia. But we're going to use our bodies. We're going to use our bodies as part of the tree. So normally we do this with a really big class of like 30 kids. So we're going to have to modify a little bit to change this up a little. So what we're going to do is, I think we'll just use this space right here. I think this should be big enough. We need one person to be in the middle as the heartwood. Who would like to be the heartwood? Would you like to be the heartwood, Emily? I'm gonna have you stand right here. And everybody else, if you'd stand up and move towards the tree, then we won't step on each other's toes. Sorry. All right. So what Emily's going to do is she's going to read what she is and what she does. And so here's the name of what you are. And then if you'd read that part and that part. I can. Okay, and can you read this and this? Heartwood. Heartwood is the central core of the tree. Good. It is made up of dense, dead wood and provides strength for the tree. Excellent. So can you think of a way to show how you stand tall? How can you show the heartwood? Oh, excellent. So she's standing very straight and tall, looks like a soldier. Next, we need a part to go around her that would be sapwood. Would you go around her? And would you read what you are and what you do? We pump. We pump. Sapwood also calls
Very nice. Good job. There's a lot of hard words on this. So go ahead and put your name tag on once you've said it. And be ready to show us what you are and be ready to say what your word is again. The one that's in the sort of rectangle there. So, Cameron, how would you show us we come from? Show us that by moving around the hardwood. How would you show us pumping? What's a way that you could show us? Maybe, yeah, maybe like pumping iron and then moving around the hardwood. Good, excellent. Okay, next we need cambium. How about Caleb for that one? Would you read in a loud voice what cambium does for the tree? Cambium, we make new cells. Cambium is a very thin layer of growing tissue in the tree. Uh, it makes the cells that, that become new sapwood, inner bark, or cambium. Cambium, yep. Cambium. And so what's your job? Um, to create new cells. Make new cells. So can you find a way to go around and show us making new cells? Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we need inner bark. Bradley, would you be inner bark? Okay. We bring sap around. The inner bark is also called phenolium. Phloem. Phloem. It carries sap from the leaves to the rest of the tree. At certain times of the year, the inner bark may also move stored sugars from the roots up to the rest of the tree. Very nice. And we need another inner bark for that one. Can we have someone else be an inner bark there? Simon, would you also be an inner bark? And I'm going to have you go over on this side. Okay. And you two, how can you show bringing sap around? Oh, I like that. Simon, can we do something similar? Oh, good. So inner bark is showing us bring sap around. Wonderful. What do you think comes after inner bark? Outer bark, very good. And I've got all my tags tangled up here. So I'll see if I can pull them out. I'm gonna need a couple of outer barks there. We need a couple of outer barks. Who can do that for us? Ethan. Logan and Ethan. All right, you guys go grab those. And would you read what you are? Um, do you wanna do it together or do you wanna each do a part? Okay, why don't you do it together, starting at the top with outer bark. Outer bark. We protect, we protect. The outer bark protects the tree from injury caused by insects, animals, plants, diseases, and fire. Different types of trees have different types of bark. Very nice. And think of how can you show that you're protecting? <laughs> I like that. That's very original. <laughs> All right. You can, yeah. Or yeah, you can show that you're big and strong and you're protecting that tree. Yeah, I like that. So there's lots of different ways to do it. <laughs> Next, we need a couple of roots. We need a couple of roots. Would you two read those to us? And we will, in just a minute, we'll have you lay on the ground, but not quite yet. All right. Roots, are you ready to read together? One, two, three. Roots help anchor the tree in the ground. They also serve water and nutrients from the soil. Very nice. They bring it up, don't they? So this time, I'm just going to have you say the part that's in the rectangle. That's the part of the tree that you are. And then show and say the part that's in quotation marks. Have you studied quotation marks? Yes. yes. All right, so you got to do it in a big voice because this is going to be on video, all right? All right, so we're gonna start with the heartwood and we're gonna move around the heartwood, everyone. Okay, we're gonna move around the heartwood when we get to this part. But we're gonna start with her. You'll notice that you have a letter at the top. We're gonna go in that same order we just went in. So it goes A, B, C, D, E, and then out to F. Okay, all right, let's start. Big voice, Emily. Heartwood, I stand Okay, show us pumping. Yeah, good, and move around the heartwood because you're in the center of the tree there. Excellent. Cambium. Cambium. We make new cells. Great. Awesome. All right, next we need our inner bark. We bring sap around. Good, show us bringing sap around. Go, Simon. Look at 
at that. Oh, wonderful. Outer bark. Show us what you got. Outer bark. We protect. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's <laughs> and roots. Show us what you do. Good. So you can stop where you are. And roots, we need a chance to give you a moment to do your anchoring job. Would you sit down somewhere by the tree and show us how you anchor the tree? And I bet the photographer would love a picture of that. <laughs> So everybody, Hug make sure your name tags on so we can see what part Hug of the tree the you are. Okay. Roots, make sure you're anchored. Oh, look at that. That looks fabulous. You're safe, buddy. Very good. All set? Mm -hmm.